show you what I got going on here. You got a gold ring, a fence staple, and a horseshoe underneath those, right? About three inches. Got the Deus with a nine inch, the Deus with the five by nine, the Equinox with a six, and the SP24 coil on the Simplex. And relic dumps are hard to dig in, man, because you got a lot of big iron down there underneath a bunch of sometimes square nails and some little bits of iron. And relic dumps are tough because you have to clear out a lot of that iron to get these targets, right? I want I also wanted to get that horseshoe out of there too, but that's just some big iron there. I just want to kind of mimic kind of replicate a, a, a really iron infested area. And I'll start with the Equinox here. I do these tests because I wanna know what to listen for in relic dumps, right? You can hunt all out there in parks and soccer fields and baseball fields. It gets kind of boring after a while, right? And you clear out a lot of the targets, right? In relic dump, there's always targets to get, right? Every relic dump that I've ever hunted in, I hunt them a lot, right? Because I always find good stuff, but it just takes a lot of testing and a lot of experience in relic dumps to know what to listen for. And I want to do this testing to, to to know what to listen for, right? And know how to dial my detector in, What's what settings are gonna work the best. With the Equinox, you never know what kind of settings are gonna work the best. You just have to mess with the buttons a lot, right? Um, I, I figured out that part two works really good on this target here. And I'll actually uh, turn my volume up here. Struggling that way, right? Park two. It's hitting it really good that way, but I'll change it up here a little bit. That was down bar down the barrel. This is perpendicular to it, right? Right. I'll try park um one right here. show what this stuff sounds like right that horseshoe right the nail it's pulsing on the nail or the staple it's hitting a little bit but not down this way right and it's all about finding which settings are going to work best for relic dumps and I haven't really figured that out with the Equinox, right? Because every relic dump is different and I'm always pushing buttons trying to dial the Equinox into certain spots and a lot of times I just end up pushing buttons for a long time and just, you know, put it away. I'll get the Simplex here. Equinox really works really good in clean ground, right? Sure, you might be able to pluck a few targets out of relic dumps and whatnot, but the Equinox falses on that deep iron so bad that it's hard to to pinpoint the, those smaller targets near the surface. You know, Park 2 and Field 2 work really good for the lower conductors. And if I put a silver dime right here, all these machines will hit the silver dime in all different angles, right? It's the higher conduct, the, the actually, the the dais with the five by nine coil struggles on an econ on uh, struggles on this on a on this if this was a silver dime right the the dais just struggles a little bit with those higher conductors um for some reason um near the iron but with the lower conductors i'll show you it's freaking superior right and here's the simplex right the simplex you don't really have much to offer in the way of settings right and this is a low conductor target this is a really hard target so right i'll show you what it sounds like without these two targets here right false is on the iron park two all right actually i'll go down the barrel first hit it really good here 
Right there. That's just not doing very good. That's it. Uh, it might be falsing on the nail there. Yeah, falsing just a little bit on that nail there. It's not hitting it very good. You know, 12 kilohertz machine. You know, a lot of people have been saying, oh, the simplex, you can just change the frequency. The simplex is a single frequency machine, right? You have frequency offset that you can change it like by one tenth of one kilohertz, right? That's not very much to go. Um, that setting is basically if you're around other simplexes, it might help just a little teeny bit in some EMI, but you know, I've I've struggled with the simplex and the EMI. Um, the best way to get rid of the EMI is put it in beach mode, right? I'll try field mode right here. Take that nail out of there. It should hit it. It's struggling right there, right? It's struggling right there. Big time. You know, this is what it sounds like. Get it out. I'm discriminated. That's not good. I'm discriminated in that mode. I'm not discriminated in part two, though. I'll go like this and not discriminate. Right. Oh. It's one about the simplex, you know. Um, if you're getting some EMI, you can't freaking use this setting right here, right? Because um, it just wants to jump all over the place on your cursor there. It wants to jump all over the place. And it's just not very good in the EMI, right? that little cursor down there if you're in high emi it jumps all over the place and if you push that accept reject button it re it re it'll reject that one without you even knowing it right you really got to look close at your discrimination bar if you're discriminating right there field mode full gain not going to do it right the simplex is a single frequency machine it hits really good actually the simplex the simplex on this same scenario right here with the silver dime the simplex actually did better than all of my machines on a silver dime right there on the surface it did better than all my machines here right you got to know which machine to take too right and the thing with the dais is the higher frequencies can really get you those smaller targets in the in the uh, in the thick iron, and all you have to do is just put it in hot mode, right? Hot program number nine. This is the Deus one. Hot program, 14 kilohertz, right here. Stock hot program, right here, right. I'll show you what the horseshoe sounds like. I would dig that up all day long. <laughs> I'll show you what the, what the nail sounds like. Just iron, right? So there's a big difference between those three, three tones right there. All right now I'll just raise my frequency up here to 54 kilohertz, right? Stock hot program, 54 kilohertz. I'll take that gold ring out of there. Listen to it. Now I'll show you what this horseshoe sounds like. It sounds freaking killer, man. Right? But I can tell that there's something near the surface here. I'll even go like this. I'll even make it really tough. Right? Really tough. Right there. Now I'll take that gold ring out and listen to it. Listen to what that, that nail sounds like, right? Sounds like junk. Right? Sounds like a nail. Right there.
totally came through, right? Now I'll switch coils over to the 5x9 coil. Oh, double button machine, that just drives me nuts, man. Okay. Seventy-four killer right here. <laughs> listen to the, listen to the stable, right? I'm getting that full range of iron, right? I'm getting that full range of iron on that staple right there. And I'll tell you right now, the reason why I don't use pitch program in the dumps too much or in thick iron is because I get broken tones, right? Because in pitch tones, you have to discriminate. If you don't discriminate, you're gonna be digging up nails all day long, right? And when I'm in pitch mode, I'll show you here in a second. When I'm in pitch mode, it does about the same on this target right here when it's near the surface. But once you start getting deeper uh, targets there, the pitch tones will clip out on you. Those tones will clip out on you because the iron, because you have to discriminate, right? This is a full range right here, minus 6.4 discrimination. So I don't have any clip tones. I'm getting the full range of iron with that high tone right there in next to the iron, right? Because I'm not discriminated. When you discriminate, you lose the tones because you're discriminating the iron that's right next to that target. So you're going to get some clip tones, um, usually in in pitch tones. I don't, I never disc discriminate in full tones, right? Always minus 6.4 discrimination. And because I can, I can hear my soil and I can hear the iron and those other higher conductives and those mid conductive targets will really stand out. And I can pinpoint them all the way around. If I were in pitch tones, if it's next to some iron or if it's deeper, I'm going to lose some some tones there. So I need to re recover some of my tones by putting it in a hot program. This is just a stock program, right? I can turn my audio overload down and make it hit that a lot better, but I probably won't be able to get time to do that um, in full tones because it's overloading on that nail right there, on that um, that staple right there. It's not overloading on the horseshoe, but it's overloading on that nail. I'm losing just a little bit of tones there in full tones. But I'll show you pitch tones real quick here, right? And yes, the Equinox will hit this target in Goldfield 1 and 2, and so will the Deus. But if you search in Goldfield with both these machines in a relic dump, you will be digging up a lot of nails, right? You'll be, d dig up a lot of junk, right? And I'll put it in pitch tones here and I'll just show you, right? It's, it's going to hit it just as good, right? And with pitch tones, I'm going to have to discriminate here, right? Because if I, I don't, oh, I went too far. I can't see my screen. So pitch tones, number four program, right? I'll take that out of there. See, I'm not getting that full range of iron and the, the stock program discriminates to like six point something. I can't see my screen there. Auto response to set up four, reactivity 2.5, 6.1 discrimination. So, and remember I'm in 74 killer, so it's gonna hit it, that horseshoe really good. So actually I'll put this nail in there and it'll 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 false on the nail, right? It's gonna give me a, a tone on that, that nail right there. Actually I'm in 14 kilohertz. Hold up to 74 kilohertz, right? Because I already know that 14 kilohertz is not gonna hit this gold ring, right? See 74 kilohertz really falses. In pitch tones, so I have to discriminate even more, right? So I'm getting further away from where I want to go. Where I want to go is full tones. I want to hear all the range of iron. I don't want to discriminate, right? 
So I'll just go and discriminate that target out there, that nail, right? So it's not pulsing on that nail, right? There's only certain so much I can do. I mean, I'm already up to 11 already. And once you start discriminating even higher, you're gonna start losing a lot more tones. It will hit it, right? But you see how much I had to dial it in, right? There's no pushing buttons with the hot program, man. I'm telling you, if you just learn the hot program, it'll really spank the targets out, right? Just learn the tones. And if it's not iron, it's gonna be, it's, if it's not an iron tone, that broad range of iron that, is, that, that you heard in the full tones there, if it's not iron, it's gonna be a non-ferrous target. And with the pitch tones, I have to discriminate. So the further and further you start discriminating it up um, away from iron, the more targets that you're gonna miss that are next to iron because you're discriminating that iron out. It's also discriminating that lower conductive target right there. So. You know, it's all just a, a pushing button games with a lot of detectors, but I've been using the stock hop program for the last few months and I've been getting a lot more out of the ground since I've been, you know, I first started using the Deus, um, like deep full tones, um, pitch program, deep pitch. You know, I tried to, to really push the depth of this detector, but that's not really where it thrives at. Where this detector thrives at is on those shallow targets in the iron. You know, and even in some moderate trash or some, some high trash, you know, both the both these coils, the uh, Deus coils, were hitting that pretty good in hot program, right? In 74 kilohertz, in 14 kilohertz, and the lower frequencies is not going to hit those lower conductive targets. But once you do raise your frequency um, with the Deus, you're going to start falsing on those nails a little bit more. But as you rotate on it, you'll know that it's a nail because it goes away. You know, it gives you those clicks and pops. Um, and the slower you swing with it in higher frequencies, the more it's going to false on nails. If you swing faster in the higher frequencies, it'll reject that iron. Well, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.